I am sorry is not a weakness. Somebody is not here. Please don't, don't sit down here. Don't sit down yet. Make it so the legs are to honor Jesus. Those legs are not for you to. Eh? The legs are for the, you give Jesus glory. Hear me. I am sorry is not a weakness. Did you get it well, sister? Brother? I am sorry is not a weakness. I have been sent to some persons who don't know I am sorry. I have been sent to another group of persons who think I am sorry is a weakness. I have been sent to some persons who think staying silent is the way out. Who think covering up is the way out. Who think justifying everything and getting away with is the way out. Error. May we be seated. Tell your sister error and take your seat. I am sorry. It's not a weakness, sister. It's not a weakness, brother. Let no one deceive you. If you have been deceived, begin to erase it from your memory that I am sorry is not a weakness. I am sorry is rather a strength. It's a sign of strength. It's a sign of good character. Those who reject I am sorry, they always cover up. They always look for a way to justify. Or they stay silent. Big error. Big error. I am sorry is a sign of strength and good character. Tell your sister, tell your brother, I am sorry is a sign of strength and good character. Tell somebody by you. The I am sorry I'm referring to is that from the heart, not that from the lips. Somebody is not here. Are you still there? I am referring to that from the heart, that which comes from the heart, not from the lips. How do you know the difference between that which comes from the heart and that from the lips? That from the heart is backed up by genuine action. The action that follows repentance. The steps that follow repentance. You see it prevailing. Genuine. If you have been over the years staying silent over the years you have been silent or struggling to justify Justify your schemes. Justify your scheme, brother, sister. It is a heavy error. I am sorry is a sign of strength. It's a sign of greatness. It comes from the heart. It's the day the Lord has made. And it's time for you to reconcile. It's time for me to reconcile. It is time for reconciliation. It is time to march out and tell brother, tell sister, I am sorry. You who, you that wants to enjoy the kingdom of God. If you don't know I am sorry, you will not see his kingdom. If you say you have not seen you have not had brother, you have not had sister, you are a liar. The scriptures can never be broken. You have to go to sister, you have to go to brother and cry out for mercy. I am sorry brother, I am sorry sister. Then you face God. You have to do so. We all have to do so. You have to move to all the persons you have caused pain, sister. All the persons you have pain, brother, you have to move to them. All the persons you have caused pain through your lies, 
your lies, your evil words, your cook words, you have to go to them and cry for mercy. Say, I'm sorry. All the persons you have caused pain with your professional lives, brother, it is time for reconciliation. All the persons you have caused pain through cheating, through gossip, you can help me add the others. You have to identify them and you go cry for mercy. Brother, you have to. Sister, you have to. All the persons you have dismissed, you cause their dismissal from job, sister. You cause their dismissal from job, brother. You have to go and reconcile. It is time for reconciliation. All the persons you cause their business to collapse because of your wicked schemes. <laughs> if you don't look for them and reconcile, it can never be well with you. All the persons you cause gymnastics and their business collapse. Brother, is brother there? Brother, look at me with deeper interest. You have to look for all the sisters or sister or sisters that you have deceived over the years playing with them. I will marry you. I will marry you. Jumping from left to right. You have to look for them. If you want it to be well with you until you look for them and reconcile, it can never be well with you, brother. Hear me well. Somebody tell brother by you that brother God is talking to you. It is time for reconciliation. This wicked, this evil has become like a way of life in this world today, in our generation. It is evil, brother. It is evil. It has become like a way of life. Moving from Susanna to Judge One and to Earth. You will look for them. You must look for them. You don't have any choice and reconcile. Are there sisters in the house? <laughs> hey! Sister! All the brother that you have collected our money over the years. You go this way, you collect Android phone. You go this way, they buy you, they buy there. You go this way, they buy you this one. And you are taking from here, taking from here. Hey! It's time for reconciliation. Let no one deceive you. If you continue, you are going to have fire. Jesus is on the way. The time has come. This month is a month of reconciliation. This is the month he died for you on the cross. You have to respond by doing good to him. You have to respond with reconciliation. He came onto this earth for reconciliation. To reconcile us unto his father. The way out is to embrace reconciliation, brother. Embrace reconciliation. I am sorry. It's not a weakness. It's a sign of strength. Let no one deceive you. The truth. The truth. If you want to make heaven, sister, you want to make heaven, brother, the truth. Return to the truth. Return to the truth. All what you are seeing in this world, you can confirm that it's passing away. Everything is going. Even before your eyes, you are seeing everything collapsing. Collapsing and going. Return to the truth. It's time for reconciliation. I am sorry. It's not a weakness. It is time for somebody to burst out with I am sorry. And you do that with your heart. Touch your heart, your heart. With your heart, not with your lips. With your heart. When you do it with your heart, you will touch the mind of God. Remember Matthew 15, verse 8 and 9. He said, if you will not with your heart, whatever you do is in vain. You will not receive anything from, me, from your heart. It is time for you to sit and reconsider your steps. Ask yourself, 
if I end today, if the Lord called me today, if my end is today, where will I spend eternity, brother? That shop will not help you. That career will not help you. It will not stand for you. It is time for reconciliation. That's the reason he came. He came for all who have made errors. He said, I have come for those who are sick, not for those who are well. Are you sick? Have you made errors? Then he has come for you, sister. He has come for you, brother. He has come for you. It's time to rise up with I am sorry from your heart. It is time to face sister. It's time to face brother. It is time to amend all broken relationship. It is time. It is time. It is time. We are strangers in this world. One day, remember, you must go. We are strangers in this world. One day, remember, you must go. 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 We are strangers in this world. One day, remember, you must go. Whether you have 100 million in your account, you must go. Whether you have 10,000 in your account, you must go. Whether you change dresses every second, you must go. Whether you wear one dress for 30 days, you must go. Everybody must go. Whether you are driving in the latest uh, uh, private jet, you must go. Or whether you are driving in your legatus bands, you must go. Whether you like the message or not, you must go. You choose to go and reconcile, you must go. You choose to neglect, you must go. But he has sent for his word so that we can embrace him and enjoy his kingdom. One thing that you should never let go, his coming is very close. It's very close, sister. It's very close, brother. It's time for reconciliation. You have to look for all the persons that you send out of church, sister. All the persons that you send out of church, brother, with your mouth, with your gymnastics, you send them away from church. You will look for them. Look for them one by one and reconcile. <laughs> it's time for reconciliation. It's time to look for them. Are you here, yes, somebody? It is time. It is time. It's time, brother. It's time, sister. All the persons you have caused pain, all broken relationship, it's time to reconcile. It's time to burst out from your heart with I am sorry. But the most interesting thing is so many persons don't even know how to apologize. So many persons don't even know how to say, I am sorry. Are you seeing here? So many don't even know how to say, I am sorry. They don't know how to apologize. We thank God that he has blessed us with this message from his throne room. How should you say, I am sorry? Oh, apologize, sister. How should you apologize? How should you say, I am sorry? How is someone supposed to say, I am sorry? Or how is someone supposed to apologize? Look at me. Number one, admit your error. That is step number one. The first thing to do is to admit your error. Admit your error, bro. Admit your error, sister. Covering up is dangerous. <laughs> Somebody is not here. Justifying is dangerous. Staying silent is dangerous. We're going to get there. 
It's dangerous. Please may we rise. Viewers all over the world. I bless God for your life. All under the sound of this voice. This message is a message indeed. Look at me with deeper interest. Covering up is dangerous. Justifying is dangerous. Staying silent is dangerous. And this has become a way of life in these last days. Nobody wants to admit the error. They struggle to justify. Struggle to cover up. Some stay silent. It's dangerous. So many persons are suffering from what they covered up yesterday. You may be going through what you are going through, brother, sister, because of what you covered up yesterday, what you justified yesterday and made your way out. You cannot make your way out through that of Jesus. No way. You may have covered up or stayed silent, justified, and you made your way. But it is haunting you because you cannot justify with Jesus. You cannot cover up with Jesus and make your way. Are you that one that has been justifying everything? You make an error. The error is glaring. Everybody has seen it. But you turn around. It is because of so and so. So, so and so. It's because of so, so and so. Sister, brother. Is that what you have been doing? Let me release you for five seconds. Reflect. Have you been justifying everything? Have you been covering up or staying silent? Take these few seconds and reflect on. Go deeper. You can play gymnastics with man and go free. And maybe you played gymnastics yesterday with man and you escape. But it's haunting you today. Because you cannot play gymnastics with the Lord. And nothing can be hidden from him. The way out is to admit your error. That's the way out. When you justify, you stay silent, you cover, you only make matters worse. May we be seated. I pray in the name of Jesus that as you open your hearts, whatever you have been going through or whatever you are going through, because of your position of justifying, covering up, or staying silent, today you will disconnect from that nonsense in the name of Jesus Christ. The first thing to do is to admit your error. That's the apologize. That's the way to say, I am sorry. Number one, you admit your error. Number two, take responsibility. You take responsibility. After admitting your error, you take responsibility for what you have done. For the pain you have caused sister, for the pain you have caused brother, you take responsibility. Admitting your error is one thing. Taking responsibility is another thing. And that's the second thing to do. You take responsibility. After admitting your error, don't spoil it with da, 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 da. no. Take responsibility. Let it come from your heart. 
that I am guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. Let it come from your heart. Let it come from your heart that it is all my fault. Don't play around. It should come from your heart. Let sister here, let brother here, that I am guilty is all my fault. I take responsibility for the pain I have caused you. Take responsibility. Look at me, somebody. King Saul, a great king, was destroyed because, number one, he failed to admit it. Number two, he failed to take responsibility. He failed. He had made errors, yes. But when Samuel was sent to him, Saul denied the error. When Samuel pressed on, it got to a point, Saul admitted the error. But even when Saul admitted the error, he still struggled to push the responsibility to the people that I did this for my people. Look at 1 Samuel 15, verse 24, 25, 26. Then Saul said to Samuel, mm -hmm. I have sinned, for I have transgressed against the commandments of the Lord Correct. and your words. He is admitting now. He's admitting, but to do what? To push the blame. Right on. Because I fear the people and obey their voice. I fear the people. See, transferring it to the people. That is because of these people. That's what so many do today. If he has said, it's all my fault, I am guilty, and then move to the next step, he would have emerged victorious. Number one, he denied. When somewhere press on, when you go home, Read from, from verse 1. When you go around 13, 14, you get his confession. He denied that he has not made any errors. He has done what the Lord told him to do. He denied. But when Samuel pressed on, he admitted, yeah, I have sinned. So many only admit when they have been pushed to the point before they admit. It's a grievous error. Don't delay to admit your error. Don't delay, brother. Don't delay, sister. He admitted, I have seen. But it's because, it's because, it's because that's what so many do today. Are you one of them? You make an error. It's because, it's because, it's because. Because, because. Mm -mm. Because he failed. He perished. Admit your error, take responsibility. Take responsibility for the pain that you have caused, sister, brother. Take responsibility. Right on. Now, therefore, please pardon my sins and return with me that I may worship the Lord. But Samuel said to Saul, I will not return with you. For you have rejected the word of the Lord. It was too late. Even at this point, he was not still ready to... He did, not, he did not take responsibility. He was still pushing the responsibility to the people. It was too late. Somebody look at me. This point of taking responsibility is a very striking point. This is the point where your respect starts returning to you. Is somebody getting me? The point where you take responsibility, your respect starts returning to you. When you take responsibility for what you have done, your respect starts coming back to you. Your respect starts coming back to you. When you admit and you tell that one, I am truly sorry, it's all my fault. I am truly guilty. Your respect starts coming back. You start gaining your respect. But when you justify, you destroy the respect completely. The point of taking responsibility is that point that starts commanding your respect to return. Anyone that has made an error to you, when the person comes to you and the person is truly broken, 
and the person admit and say, I, am, I take responsibility, it's all my fault. The person starts gaining respect. Your respect for that person starts, you start overhauling. Start building your respect back for the person. But when you miss that, you destroy. And until you take responsibility, you cannot move to the third. After taking responsibility, what should you do, sister? What should you do, brother? Bring out, I am sorry, and ask for forgiveness. After taking responsibility, bring out, I am sorry, and ask for forgiveness. Sister, I have made an error. I am truly guilty. I am sorry. Please forgive me. You admit, you take responsibility, you bring out, I am sorry. This is the point of I am sorry. And you ask for forgiveness. I am sorry. What is very challenging to come out from the mouth of so many persons in these last days. Forgive me. What is so heavy to come out from the mouth of so many in these last days. If you want to make heaven the way out is reconciliation. It's reconciliation, sister. After admitting, taking responsibility, bring out, I am sorry, and ask for forgiveness. And remember, it should come from your heart. From your heart. From your heart. Sister, forgive me for the pain I have caused you. Brother, forgive me for the pain I have caused you. I deeply apologize. Forgive. From your heart. Number four. Say what you have done to take care of the future. After asking for forgiveness, say what you have done to take care of the future. So that you should not repeat itself again. Let sister know, let brother know that you have truly, I have truly repented. I have truly repented. It will not happen again. I have said no to sin. It will not happen again. Number one, you admit. Number two, take responsibility. Number three, you bring out, I am sorry, and you ask for forgiveness. Number four, bring out what you have done to take care of the future. If you have truly repented, you say, I have repented. No. I have said no to the way those uh, gossip, cheating, and so I have said no. I have embraced righteousness. Number five, accept the consequences. Accept the consequences, brother. Accept the consequences, sister. After bringing out what you have done to take care of the future, accept the consequences. This is a point where your respect fully comes back to you. This is the point where your respect fully returns. Accept the consequences for the pain that you have caused, sister, your caused brother. Accept the consequences. Accept the consequences. If it means returning, refunding that house, the house that you took from brother, the house that you took from the family, returning it and becoming a tenant, do so. Accept the consequences. If it means returning the land, the piece of land that you took from a brother or from a sister, and you are left with nothing, do so. That's accepting the consequences. If it means going back to adjust that boundary that you cheated brother, you cheated sister, go and do so and redeem. That's accepting the consequences. If it means handing that car over 
and returning to Legadus Benz, accept the consequences. That's accepting the consequences. Accept the consequences. When you accept your consequences, you are respect returns back to you in fullness. Returns back to you. To do things the right way in these last days, brother, after making errors, is the mark of a great person. That you have made errors and you burst out, I'm sorry, and you focus on doing things the right way is the mark of a great person. Brother Zacchaeus, we all know him. Brother Zacchaeus is in the good books of history because he embraced the truth. After making several errors, he received the truth and acted upon. He had cheated so many persons as a tax collector. He had, he, he had well through diverse schemes. But once he received the truth, he acted upon the truth without reservation. Meet his error. So see, he embraced I'm sorry, forgiveness, and it, the consequences. He accepted the consequences. And everything turned around. His respect came back to him. Let us look at Luke. Chapter number 19, verse 8. Luke chapter number 19, verse 8. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor, and if I have taken anything from anyone by false accusation, I restore fourfold. Please be with us. This is brother Zacchaeus before our father Jesus. Just as we all are before him this day. Get his confession. Get his confession. Then Zacchaeus said to the Lord, Lord, I give half of my goods to the poor and if I have taken any from what first word accusation. accusation I restore for food that is accepting the consequences giving it back letting it go Zacchaeus was ready to become poor than to stay with the money and go to hellfire. He started returning it back, giving it back. That is accepting consequences. You cannot admit and not accept the consequences. You are a joker. You are just playing. You cannot embrace the first two. You admit, take responsibility, and you don't get to the, the feet. You are just playing. You must accept the consequences. Zacchaeus was ready to become wretched and stay right with the Lord Jesus. Are you ready, sister? You ready? to go back and reconcile? Are you ready to go back and accept your consequences? Are you ready to go back like Zacchaeus? The money you have, you have in your account from dubious means, you take it back tomorrow from your account and you look for the persons and you give. Are you ready? Are you ready to go and refund that? The family land that you have chased everybody away. Are you ready to go and reform? That's accepted consequences. Remember, never forget, 
that there is nothing that can you can cover from the Lord. He knows you. He knows the number of hair on your head. He knows what is expected from you. Are you ready? Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself when the Lord shall come. Prepare yourself. I am preparing myself. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Prepare yourself, sister. Prepare yourself, brother. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the coming of Jesus. Now is the time. Tomorrow may be too late. Prepare yourself for the coming of the Lord. Now is the time. Tomorrow may never come. Prepare yourself for the coming of Jesus. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the coming of Master Jesus? The time is now. The time to edit your record is now. The time to change your record is now. The time is now. Now that you can still do so. You can still do so. A time comes, you will not be able to do so. Please. Tomorrow is not in your hands. Embrace the truth. It's time for the consolation. The way to be ready for Master Jesus is to anchor to what he came and died for. He came for reconciliation. He died to reconcile us all. When you anchor on reconciliation, then you are on the right path with him. He's a faithful God. May we be seated. Now, let us see how Zacchaeus respect return to him in fullness. When he had given all these things, look at the next verse, verse 9. Then he turned around the words of Jesus. And Jesus said to him, today, not tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, salvation has come to this house. Salvation has come to this house. When you embrace reconciliation, you will get the same encounter. He is the same today. He is the same today, the same forever. You will hear from him that salvation has entered your house. Are you ready for that? The prodigal son, the prodigal son, the prodigal son, we all know him. Hey, hey. He made serious errors, painful errors, but yet, when he regained consciousness, he admitted his error. He took responsibility. He marched on. He came out. I am sorry, and asked for forgiveness. He repented and accepted the consequences. And today, his name. It's in the good history books. Not because of the errors, but because of his reaction. How he fought the errors. In Luke 15, Luke chapter number 15, when we look at verse 17, 224, in verse 17, we see something extraordinary. But when he came to himself, Correct. he said, 
How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough? When he bread? came to himself, it means the prodigal son was not himself. Why? Because the devil had blinded his mind. He was not himself. When he came to himself, he embraced the path of reconciliation. To go back to his father, to mount the journey to his father, to reconcile with his father. When he regains himself, sister, have you regained yourself? Brother, have you regained yourself? He has sent for his word so that you can come back to understanding. So that you have knowledge and understanding. You regain yourself and you act. He march on. Look at verse 18. We see him admitting his error. Taking responsibility. Right on, verse 18. I will arise and go to my father. And I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. I will arise. I will go to my father. I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. And I will say to him, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I have sinned against heaven and before you. I have sinned. That's admitting error. That's admitting error. I have sinned, sir. No lame blame, not justify. I have sinned against you, Akiva. I have sinned. Right on. And I am no longer worthy to be called your son. That is taking responsibility. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. <laughs> taking responsibility for the consequences. The consequences of his, of his error. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Let me just be your servant because I am not qualified. Taking responsibility for his errors. Is somebody here? Right on. Make me like one of your servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck. And Look at verse 21. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven. And in your sight, and I am no longer worthy to no be No longer son. worthy. What do you say, sister? What is your frame of mind at this position? Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus because he first loves me. Look at what is uncovering to you and I. That's the love of Jesus. Love of Jesus. When you take full responsibility and consequences of your error, your respect return to you. Again, when you take full responsibility and the consequences of your error, your respect return to you in fullness. Look at Zacchaeus. Look at the prodigal son. Look at because he took these steps in verse 22 to 24, we see his respect back to him. Verse 22. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robes and put it on him. Correct. And put a ring on his hand and Correct. sandals on his feet. Correct. And bring the fatted calf here and kill it and mm -hmm. let us eat and be merry. Mm -hmm. For this is my son, was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began. What provoked all this, sister? What provoked all this? Somebody help me. What would have happened if he came and just stood silent before the father? Because he did the right thing. Because he followed the steps of apology. This is him now. His respect returned to him in fullness. His respect came back. 
and the confession of the father this my son was dead he was dead and now he is alive are you ready to act like the prodigal son Most often, I have had experiences where some persons come, say, Papa, your daughter has come. Your son has come, like the prodigal son. Eh? He come, he come, eh? Papa, this Papa. Yeah, 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 your daughter has come, your son has come. Eh? Papa, sorry, you. Sorry, you. Eh? And I will turn to them and say, Is that how the prodigal son came? Somebody help me. <laughs> your son has come your daughter has come if you follow the steps of the prodigal son so many persons don't know how to apologize they don't know how to say I'm sorry you come you say you are coming like a prodigal son number one you don't even admit you don't take responsibility you are not ready to take the better consequences I'm sorry we're sorry, from the lips, not from the heart. Please, we will rise. I want you to reflect on the, how you run this race. How have you been running this race? You have made errors, yes. We have all made our errors, yes. There is no perfect being. That's why we are all striving. That's why we are behind the one who is perfect. Behind him to be perfect. What will command your respect to return back to you is the way you will respond. To the errors you have made. Look at the prodigal son. Look at the prodigal son. I am not even qualified, sir. I am not even qualified to be your son. Let me just be one of your servants. Any position you put me as your servant. Whatever nature of work you want me to do, I will do it. That's where I belong. Accepting the consequences. And he regained his respect from the father. Talk with your daddy. Talk with your father. You may be that one you have done so many because of that spirit of anger and others yes he came for you he came for me he has sent for this word to call us back to himself talk with him go deeper don't be distracted talk with your father he said, come and let's reason together. Even though your sins may be as red, he's ready to change it and transform it to be as white as snow. Let no one deceive you. If you can only admit, take responsibility, bring out, I'm sorry, and ask for forgiveness. Accept your consequences. You are sure. Remember, King David also made serious errors. But they Wounded. He followed the steps and regained his respect 
it can happen to you sister right now it can happen to you brother if you can just act on his word as Zacchaeus as David as Peter as a prodigal son you can help with the others you are also sure to enter the good books of history as you continue to reflect just take your seat for two minutes let me highlight something and we'll take another dimension look at me with deeper interest what happens to someone that rejects reconciliation what happens to that one that says no to reconciliation follow me with deeper interest you have made errors and you say no to reconciliation what happens I want us to follow the person of David remember before David embraced reconciliation he had tried other methods he tried he, he, he stayed silent he struggled to justify justify he struggled to, to cover but yet I want you to share in his experience So you uncover yourself in Psalms number 32 verse 3 through 5 we uncover, get the experience of David you who is still maybe hiding your heart and say ah, I will stay silent I am not ready to embrace reconciliation now get it very well when I kept silent mm -hmm. my bones grew old through when I kept silent, my bones grew old. When I, David, kept silent, I rejected reconciliation. I kept silent. I would not act. My bones grew old. My bones grew old. Through the word, the groaning all day long. Take notes. That's, you may just be going through that. Your bones growing old because of that silence. Because you justify. Because you cover instead of reconciling. Number two. Right on. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality Get was... it. The hand of the Lord was heavy on him. The hand of the Lord is heavy on all who say no to reconciliation. His hand is heavy. Day and night, his hand is heavy. When things are like this, like Caesar, brother, <laughs> hey, the hand of the Lord. When you say no to reconciliation, be sure to enjoy the heavy hand of the Lord. Be sure of pain. The hand of the Lord is heavy on him day and night. You may just be there and the hand of the Lord is heavy on you. Because for long, you have rejected reconciliation. You have rejected, I am sorry. And that's why you are going through what you are going through. He has sent for his word to set you free. If you can only embrace it in truth and in spirit. Get it? Right on. The next. My vitality was turned into the drought of the summer. I acknowledge my sin. Eh? It's vitality. His vitality was turned into drought of summer. Someone who was looking very healthy, very rich, 
was turned to something else, unhealthy and poor. Vitality. Someone who was very focused becomes confused and frustrated. <laughs> My vital turned into a trout of summer. Someone who was blossom is finished now. Someone people used to look up to has become what? A laughing stock. Someone who was fine reduced to zero. Vitality was turned into drought of summer. Means the place that was wet, everything good, turned now to drought, nothing, everything dry. If you say no to the constellation, that's what you are going to face. That's what. It can never, never be broken, sister. This is the experience of David. Why? Because he kept silent. He kept silent. He struggled to cover. He struggled to justify. This may just be what you are going through. What is happening to you, sister? Please, may we rise. The rock that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you, I am sure. Jesus, that never fails. Let me hide in you. Let me hide in you. In you, I, I am sure. sure. That is the best thing to do. You may just be melting and going, sister. Melting and going, brother. Because you, you have rejected reconciliation. That's what happened to David. That's the reason why God has sent for this world. That you may embrace reconciliation. And start enjoying a new page. In verse 5, David burst out. And I want you to hook up like David. I acknowledge my sin to you and my iniquity I have not hidden, I said. I will confess my transgressions to the Lord and you forgive the iniquity of my sin. When David acknowledged his sins, accepted the consequences, everything turned around. David admitted took responsibility. Best out, I'm sorry. And ask of forgiveness. Embrace the consequences. Everything turn around. Everything turn around. What do you say, brother? What do you say, sister? If you are also ready to enter the good books of history by doing the right thing, like Zacchaeus, like David, like Peter, like the prodigal son, you can help me add the others. To admit, to take responsibility, to burst out, but I'm sorry, forgive me. To repent, to embrace what you have done, to take care of the future, and to accept your consequences. The Lord Jesus is waiting for He that has made that decision. The prodigal son made the decision and took a long journey 
to face the Father. If you are ready, that after this service, you will run to your father, run to your father, your mother, to all those broken relationships and make it right. Run to the order right now. Jesus is waiting for you. Run to him right now. Don't keep him waiting. You don't have to walk. You have to run. We don't keep the master waiting. Come. Let no one deceive you. He, this season is for you and me. For all who have made errors. Come brother, come sister. Run, run, run quickly. Don't keep the Lord waiting for you. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Keep running, keep running. Don't keep the master, master waiting for you. Jesus is already ready to embrace you. He said, come unto me, come unto me. Come, come. The reason of the cross is for all who have made errors. You hate to stay silent. You hate to justify. You hate to cover. But what you hate is what you do. What you like to do, you can't do it. Just come. Come, Jesus is waiting for you to set you free. You're already before the altar, begin to talk with him that I have come. I have come because of the truth. Talk with your daddy. and talk with your daddy. Tell him, Father, I have come to pour myself to you. I have tried over the years. No way, Lord. I surrender completely to you. I surrender. I admit my errors. I admit my errors. Go ahead and admit your errors. responsibility of the errors. Tell him, Father, I am guilty. It is all my fault. you, this is by you. Take full responsibility for errors. Apologize for pushing the errors to your father, to your mother, to your brother, to your wife. To your... Apologize. Take full responsibility. Bless our Lord. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord. I'm sorry. Sorry, I repent. I repent. I repent of my sins. I repent of them. I have embraced repentance. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Accept the consequences. the consequences. Tell him, Father, I am ready to go and restore. I am ready to go and make it right. I am ready to go and give it back. 
need to go and fix it. Talk with him. You know yourself, but remember he knows you more. Don't be distracted. Go deeper. There's a level you will encounter him. There's a level you will encounter him. You will encounter what Zacchaeus encountered. He's the same today. You encounter what David encountered. Well, my son, it's well, my daughter. Salvation has entered your house. There's a level you will feel it that all he has flushed it away. He has forgiven you. deeper if you want to encounter him. Don't be distracted. He is the same today. He is the same forever. If you truly approach him like Zacchaeus, you will encounter him. You truly approach him like the prodigal son, you will encounter him. By the way, you will encounter him. He changed not.
yes, Lord. can only be your love, oh Lord. You have sent forth your word from your throne room because of your love for us. And here we are before you. Daddy, you are the same yesterday, the same today, the same forever. Let the newness in you that you have established that anyone that embraces you steps into newness. Let that newness start manifesting their lives. Let the old pages catch fire right now. Let your light begin to shine in the life of your children because you have transformed their names. You have transformed the pages for your glory. My daddy, I release your word that you have sent forth for us. Let your word that is sharper than any double S word, let it visit your children now and uproot whatever had been planted by the enemy. Destroy whatever that the enemy has nest right now. There is awesome power in your world. Name of Jesus Christ.
for this service, I received instruction that there will be no prayer flow before the service. But just there, he told me to return and that because of there will be prayer flow after this. So, please, after uh, benediction, we'll just get to prayer flow. You are blessed, please. At that point, we'll continue from where we have ended. But listen to me. Jesus loves you. The love of the Most High God is already flowing, flowing big time. The nonsense of yesterday, as you have opened your heart, as you have opened your heart, it is well. It is well. It is well. Remember to go and act. Go and act. Go and do it. You will receive full enablement. He's already downloading you. So they can go out there and rewrite the errors for his glory and the salvation of your soul. God bless you. God bless you. The love of God is so wonderful. Remember always that I am sorry is not a weakness. It's a sign of strength. Is a sign of good character. Is a genuine step to enter the good books of history. Go and be determined to stay in him forever and you are sure to enjoy his kingdom forever. God bless you. His grace is sufficient. Amen. Wonderful, oh, wonderful.